For the cheapest and safest men, 22 coins, go to MMOEXP.com and use code MMG for 5% off. Oh! Playoffs, baby! Is this the earliest I've ever been in the playoffs in Wheel of Mud? Have I ever been in the playoffs early October? I don't know why I'm acting like I would remember that, dude. I've done so many seasons in Wheel of Mud. I don't even remember the touch of a woman. Oh! I'm, gonna myself cry. I'm gonna cry. Look, I'm crying. Wait. I have a tear coming. Oh, well, they're in there, bro. I'm fine. I'm fine, dude. I'm literally fine. It's co it's cool. I don't care. I'm fine. I'm fine. Stop asking about it, bro. Yo! Where is Abuse Pig? What do you have to say for yourself? Do you want to go in the dungeon? You and Kaylee are going to have some very quality time in the dungeon. Someone commented about this other day. I went all the way down to the dungeon, unlocked every single key that I had for it, and he wasn't in there. I swear to God, Abuse Pig actually escaped the dungeon and is on the fucking streets. If you see him, whoop his ass for me. Wheel of Mud, episode number 10. Oh my God. Did we fight or what? Are we dogs or what? We were five and three and we took the two and oh straight to him. And now in head to head seasons. What about the electric screens I see every single year? Playoffs. We've got wild card. Divisional, the NFC slash AFC championship, and then hopefully the Super Bowl. Let's talk about a few rules that are a little bit different for the playoffs. Number one, the challenge wheel. Now, usually if I complete the challenge wheel, I can either salvage a lost player, assuming I lost the game but completed the challenge, or I can buy one of any pack from the store, assuming it costs coins. The benefit of completing the challenge wheel in the playoffs is I can get any pack. Does not matter about the coins. On top of that, something you boys haven't seen in a while is the playoffs wheel. I used to do this all the time. It's an extra juiced wheel for once I make the playoffs to give us that extra push to the Super Bowl. It's just like Wheel of Mo. We're still doing two spins, but we got a lot better odds to get crazy good stuff in these wheel spins. And I don't know if you guys just noticed this, but look at how lit this shit is, bro. So number one, I'm in the process right now of making dialed in merch. It's sick. It's on this vintage washed hoodie. That'll probably be in about a week or two, but House of Highlights actually made me, bro. I don't, look at this. Yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. actually so fire. I'm doing this House of Highlights Grand Prix Go-Karts Challenge for $100,000. This time last year, I did the golf tournament, which I won. This year, there's 12 YouTubers. We're racing each other in go-karts, and the winner gets $100,000. So they made me this custom vintage go-kart shirt, and you guys can actually cop it. So House of Highlights, bro, I love you. So if you guys want to cop one, I'll have a link in the description. They're actually so hard, dude. Look at that shit. It's Friday, October 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's going to be live on YouTube. I'm the House of Highlights YouTube. You got check that out. The playoffs will, we are dialed. Come on, baby. What do you got for me on the first ever one? It's gonna, oh, shit. Power up Jack by choice of 10. Let me do my best to explain this. All I'm gonna do is sort by time remaining and then go to the power up program. And out of those 10, we can pack a punch. One out of the 10. Could be Lyle Collins, who literally just got suspended for five games for trying to bribe a urine test guy. Robert Spillane, I don't know about these, bro. Kendall Fuller, Singletary, Lyle Collins, Trey Lance, Vita Vea. Let's see who's got a good card. Does Lyle Collins have a good card? <laughs> Lyle Collins has a 92 overall limited. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, we're so lucky that Lyle Collins just got a limited. I'm praying he's on the auction house. Wow, he's not on the auction house. Lyle Collins is not even on the auction house right now. Well, considering two out of the 10 of those players were both Lyle Collins, I think the fairest way is if I just try again. All right, this is our new bracket. Mike Pouncey, KJ Wright, Gary Brackett, Leonard Floyd, Mel Renfro, Sammy Watkins, Tyler Lockett, Clay Matthews, Wade. Dude, my Matthews has an 89 overall. Although I have pretty good linebackers. What about Kareem Jackson? Although my center right now is dog shit. Oh, Mike Pouncey has a campus hero center. All right, so we were gonna get Lyle Collins, but we kind of got cucked by the auction house. So next best option, we're gonna get a 90 overall center. I think that's a good call. All right, our first pickup is 90 overall Mike Pouncey at center, working on the offensive line. Hey, I don't mind, bro. Any upgrade like that is gonna be awesome. Next thing I'd love, I think I'd love someone to get Eddie Jackson out of there. If I get an 89 overall corner, that'd be awesome. And in louder milk, I'm not taking them out. So that's not even an option, boys. Don't even think about it. All right, that leaves us to our second wheel spin. First one was sick. Does it look like we're going to get the overall jack house for this? I think jack house is not mine. Let's go! All right, Legends 
this jackpot. There's some crazy good legends in the game right now. I'm gonna get a corner for sure, and I'm gonna take Eddie Jackson out. Dude, I could get the absolute savage Larry Chonka. Is it Sanka or Chonka? I don't know, but this guy is such a savage, bro. I watched highlights on this dude forever ago. He's like a Dolphins fullback, and this guy fucking loves football. He loved hitting people in the mouth, and holy shit, he's just so cool. I'm doing it. Run block, 89. Lead block, 89. Impact blocking, 90. 6'3", 237. Bro, if I go with those I form stretches, I form stretch to Saquon Barkley with Chonka lead blocking with 86 speed. I'm act, dude, I'm gonna abuse this shit. Huge upgrades to our blocking, actually. We got a brand new 90 overall center and a brand new 90 overall fullback who's gonna be lead blocking for our current MVP, I would say, Saquon Barkley. He's gotta be the MVP this season. All we have left, though, before we truly dial in is a challenge wheel. And if I can complete this challenge, we get one of any pack in the store. But we really, really, really need to survive the playoffs right now. Our challenge is, oh my God, it was almost our challenge. I did not want 175 yards receiving with one player. Seven and three, our first playoff game, and I am nervous as shit. Let's go. He's got Stafford. He's got Sir Tan Jack. I'm on. He's got Stafford. It's going to be a Stafford slug out in game one of the playoffs. We are home in Ford Field where Justin Tucker just hit the fucking NFL. Ah! Stafford's gonna go with the handoff on the first play. Makes a great cut, because I was about to deflate and force him on the first play of the game. Ready to go man coverage here, play action. Yup. Uh-oh, A is wide open. I'm gonna send a blitz. It's gonna be so sketchy, I just gotta get there with Devin White. Oh no, I didn't, but I got B. Ooh, he makes a good play. Makes a very good call. This could be the run again. Oh, I thought for sure, bro. Now I'm stuck. He could throw a laser here. Matthew Stafford cannot throw on the run very well in this game. That's definitely what just happened to him. He's having his way with me right now, bro. Not trying to go out like this. Wow, he goes with the slip screen. Hey, Reggie Nelson, what a play. Gotta get him to make a mistake at some point, right? Or get some pressure. Yup, there's the oh, hand up. Let's go. He did that big time. Oh my God, he threw that? Oh. And he missed the deflator enforcer. Well played. Let's see what he goes for. X could be open. Oh, he's not! Jalen Ramsey, let's go, baby! Let's take this to the house. Juke got him! Let's go! Oh my god! Jalen Ramsey is in! Dude, do we get a defensive touchdown every single game? He was dude, he was Shit. I'm low-key pissed off. I have to end the video. Usually I'd hop right into another video, but this is the playoffs. That was the wild card. He just quit? He said GG? What? What about that? Was it GG? You quit after one play. You know what? Hey, I love that we have one playoff dub in the book. I love that we solidified Chanka, stud, literally didn't do shit, but love you. Jalen Ramsey with a huge interception and a huge juke, by the way. He did not switch on and we juked the fuck out of the computer. We kind of should have a different wheel for a rage quit in the playoffs, but as of right now, we don't. Our rage quit wheel spin is going to be... What does it say, baby? That is awesome. Training star facts. So our rage quit wheel spin ended up being actually the challenge wheel reward for the playoffs. We get any pack from the training store. I low-key want to go with the rising stars. If I go for heavyweights, I can get a right tackle. With rising stars, the only player that would help me is Patrick Sertan, and he's the hardest to pull. I think we have to go heavyweights and hope that we get a right tackle. That's probably the smartest way to do this. I'm going to go with the heavyweights pack. It was clutch last time. We got quit in Spain. And this time, we get... Holy fuck! Oh my god, I am cracked! Jackpot! Dude, I'm cracked out. I actually, though, I asked for a right guard, I got a right guard. I asked for a center, I got a center. I asked for a right tackle, I just got a right tackle. This is seriously the luckiest I've ever been. Jack Conklin, we're still in 86 overall. But holy shit, tell me we can't ground and pound, dude. We can massacre the run game. This is sick. Pouncey, Spain, Jack Conklin, and Chonka. And yeah, dude, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. If you were born in 1960 and the actual pronunciation is Zonk, then you can actually <laughs> because I don't know it. I'm sorry. I wasn't alive when he played, but that dude is lit. So he's going to be called Chonka on this team. Chonky brats. Look at Chonky, dude. Look at the face mask. You're telling me that guy gives a shit? Look at Chonky, bro. Darren Waller's got this chin strap. He's got a mouth guard. He's got this big helmet, the big face mask. Look at Chonky. That guy's got some dental floss, no mouth guard, no chin strap, and a fucking a little something right here just in case. What a stud. 
I'm so sorry. This is the playoffs. I have to end this off here. But I love you guys. I'm going to record the next episode right now since I'm so dialed in and ready to go. But um, 86 overall. I'll see you in the next episode. Got to get another dub, baby. I'll see you then. Peace.